so glad to have a show, but you know what? It's not going to be the same thing that I've been doing, you know, with all the comedy stuff. What I'd like to do is dedicate my show to the great and legendary King of Pop, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, uh, his music has been a great part of my life, and I want to share that part with you right now. So if I may, let me tell you when I first saw Michael Jackson. I went for an interview for a Pepsi for a soda pop commercial. That's what they said. And we didn't know it was Pepsi or, or Coke or anything. So I went down there and they started choosing people and they chose me and they said, well, you go home and you wait for us to call you. So I went home, I waited for that call and I was like, oh, hurry up, call me, call me, call me. And they called me and they said, do you know who you're gonna be doing this commercial with? I said, no. And they said, Michael Jackson and his brothers, and I threw the phone, I'm like, ah! I got so excited because I'm like, no, my God, I, is she lying to me? I'm going to be doing a Pepsi commercial with Michael Jackson. And, um, and it was just a, this, this big old thrill about life, so I got all dressed up, and I can't believe I wore a red dress. I can't believe that. That is so... <laughs> but the second day, I had on my black, you know, because we only filmed two days at the Shrine Auditorium, January 26th and 27th in 1984, way back there. And uh, I thought that it was just the greatest thing. So what Michael did was he took his big hit at the time was Billie Jean. And what he did is he wrote this song for Pepsi. And I call it the Pepsi song. And this is kind of like how it went to the tune of Billie Jean. You're a whole new generation.
love you. I miss you, Michael. I really do. Um, that's from my heart. The second song I want to do is I'll be there. But not here. 